typically there's like there's a couple things when I'm in a seminar somewhere I'll be like who's the biggest strongest guy you know and bring him in and show it just so you know that guy's now going to give you everything because you just told him he was the strongest guy in the room he wants to show his friends that he is and when his arm still goes like that he's like crap and it really works you know so there's a couple things that I do do that sometimes I just uh yeah I don't I'm not trying to hurt anyone today uh, so so again back to everyone has their different ways different styles my, I'm going to show kind of north-south Kimura just it's going to lead right back into home base. But from this position, my knee is always up in the back. Okay, I see a ton of people do it this way. And, and the reason I don't do it this way or, or with both knees down, and the same reason why when I'm behind somebody, I never, ever step over the head before this leg's up in the back is because the first counter, like I'm a guy who, if you ask me how to get out of something, and I can't give you the answer, I can lay down on the ground and show you the answer. Like if I'm, I've trained long enough, you put me somewhere, I'm gonna feel the out and show you where it's at. And, and this is a position where if this leg is over my head before this leg's up, I'm gonna hop bridge quick and pop up on that leg and get my leg rolled back like that just happened, okay? That also happens from here, if this knee's down, okay? Or, or if my foot is too close to the back. Okay, and he bridges into me right now. He's gonna, there's no base, okay? Do I have things to go to from here? Sure, but I wanna stay on top. I wanna keep my, my dominant position. So when I'm in this spot, I am knee down the front, foot about six inches away from the body, knee pinched into his back, okay? This is also another position where if he ripped his arm out and turned it into me, boom, I'm right back to a dominant spot, okay? If my knee was down, and he did that, even if I didn't get my leg trapped and I turned into him, he now has space to come up, right? If he has an underhook and I'm knee on belly and he turns into me, I don't care. I'm not gonna just get out because he's got the underhook if my knee's up. He's also gonna walk into all sorts of chokes, right? So my knee in, in, uh, in training, always up. Always, not, not like your typical driving, heavy knee on pressure, knee on belly. My knee is always right there. Okay, he can't put me back in guard. He tries to shrimp in, my leg's there. I can follow him, I can push away. You know, if it's down, I can hold him, but I'm gonna take a lot more energy to hold his hip in and keep fighting right here and not let that knee come in. And, and usually at some point, you know, the bottom guy is able to get it in. So the reason I'm able to do that, my hips, fortunately, I can sit my foot on my butt and still raise this leg like this without going like that. So when most people go knee on belly, or, or a lot of people, they'll go like this, okay? If this elbow's in, you'll get launched that way. So I can sit my foot up, or my foot, butt on my foot and slide this up, and then just keep pressure there, okay? So this is the same thing if we turn here. If I'm here and he turns away, you know, my knee rides up, I stay here. I don't put it down in the back. If I'm north-south here, and he has his grip together. We're gonna to slide this way a little bit so everyone can see. Okay. So we're here in a north-south Kimura, okay? And I break and break and break and can't get the grip right. What I'm gonna do, I have control because I've got both of my arms on his. I'm gonna slide my shin right there, okay? Now, there's still weight here and here, so what I do to break the grip, I'm gonna straighten my foot, which drops all the way down on his bicep with my shin bone, all right? All I'm doing is going like that, all right? So I, I open his legs, or I'm sorry, I open his arms with my leg and slide in. When I'm ready, I hug it tight to my chest, I take the pressure off my foot, I sit up just like that and rotate. If for some reason, you okay? Yeah, we're good. If for some reason I can't finish the camera, boom. I have the arm because my knee's already up. Uh, one more time. I know I show like 20 different things, but it, it all comes from the same little ball. You know, I'm trying to just kind of show you guys my, my go-to position and how I get there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you one more after this. Anyway, I'm here, okay, trying to break this grip, slide my shin across, all right? Take my toes off. Sit up tall, rotate, or turn, and sit. When you sit, 
so that uh, my foot's not in the, in the bite or in the armpit this time. When I sit, so that he can't come up on top of me, try and come up on top of, as I sit. Drag your foot. Right there. This foot drags, he can't come up, okay? If I'm here, he can sit up. But if I drag my foot, I don't even need his arm. He's not sitting up. Control this. Any questions? Yeah. When you slid your knee through, did you open his hands at all yeah, with your yeah. arms? Just like that, okay. I get to use because I have both my arms on his arm. Sorry. I get to use both of my arms. So let's say he's tight like this. And this, this opening's not there for my knee. Rotate. Oh. Okay. He doesn't want to let his hands go, right? So he's not just going to let this arm go and keep that one tight. Both arms are coming. I'm going right there. And then take my, take my foot off. All right. Fair